the game started in production in 2007 and uh, so it's three years uh, of development and before this um, the main influence wa came from volcanoes so uh, the, from the beauty of, 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 the, of the powerful nature see uh, the, the earth moving because uh, when you're on a, uh, on a volcano, you can feel the heat, you can feel the, the earth, you can see the, all the, the all, uh, uh, terrain being shaped shape in front of your eyes. And it has been a really impressive experience for me, and I uh, really want to have this into a game. So uh, it has been a, a major influence. Eric, uh, Shell is, uh, is passion for uh, for volcanoes to to the whole team and that's what makes the game so unique today it's true that there is uh, some uh, common point with uh, populus uh, because in from dust you can shape the terrain directly uh, but beyond this the rules are different and uh, I think that the best sh should be to ask to Peter Molineux what he is thinking, he's thinking of From Dust. Mm -hmm. At the very beginning, uh, it was more uh, an RTS uh, game where the player can uh, control each unit and uh, finally it was uh, too too uh, difficult and there was not so much fun uh, it was bad yes it yeah. was bad I can't, I can't say it yes <laughs> and so we had this wonderful uh, editor where we can shape uh, all the terrain inside uh, the simulation with all the simulation reacting in real time and we realized that there was a lot of fun there and we uh, merged so the, the, the terrain editor with the universe of From Dust mm -hmm. and it is how uh, the game uh, be, be became a god game. Actually, uh, we, that's what Eric was saying, we really realized that our designers, level designers, really had fun uh, playing with the editor itself so we chose to uh, gave players a closer hand on actually what made you know us so have so much fun with working on the game. So that's part of the reasons that it became a good game. Mm -hmm. But it was not intentional. Yes. <laughs> we really wanted to have um, a, a, a strong atmosphere uh, from the beginning with. Uh, uh, strong ambience that, uh, that involve the player uh, in terms of emotion. Uh, but there is also some change from the, uh, the beginning uh, regarding the tribe. Uh, at the very beginning of the tribe, uh, we didn't thought about masks at the very beginning. But, uh, well, one day, <laughs> I don't know if you can, maybe you can. Yeah, yeah, I can remember one day we had uh, Sébastien, uh, our concept artist, and uh, who called uh, Eric and I to his uh, desktop and said, hey, look, we, what I had, like, it was just a draft. And mm -hmm. with Eric, we said, yeah, that's, that's the tribe's mask for sure. I mean, yes. we could stop looking for anything else. It was, was just an evidence. Mm, it was what, obvious. Yes, but was mask for the, that was a mask for the shaman. We say, okay, we, we can have it for the old tribes. It's so unique. It was one of these moments in production where you know you found something, and that was great. Yeah. Mm. Well, we really love the Xbox Live Arcade uh, platforms. There are uh, so diversity in games that are uh, available on this, on this platform uh, so that we thought that uh, From Dust would be uh, at uh, its right place in here because we know the folks that are uh, buying games on that platforms. So we know that they are hungry for new experiences, mm -hmm. different stuff, 
and uh, and we really think that uh, this platform because it allows smaller teams smaller budgets uh, gives us more freedom to create new experiences so yeah i think that we can easily say that uh, the game would not have existed on any other platform yes yes definitely That's that's something that we identified. We said uh, like back um, yeah two years ago or yes. some 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 yeah two years ago we said we really feel that uh, content on X Xbox Live Arcade is uh, getting more polish and getting more production values. Uh, so and and we really like this trend because it feels like you're buying a box game, but it's you know it's only fifteen bucks. Uh, so it was I'm exaggerating, but it's the idea. Uh, so we we knew that. Uh, we could deliver a very unique experience on this platform. So that's why we went uh, to, 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 to that platform. And uh, though we like, you know, bigger production values and, and better graphics, and etc., we also like the fact that some of the games have very basic uh, uh, visuals but still have a lot of fun. So we think that on this platform there's room for both experiences. This platform uh, is, uh, is 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 great and perfect. Maybe the only uh, minus point is that some people today are still uh, only buying re retail game and will not go to uh, the XBL. But it is it is uh, moving every year. There is more people that are going to digital. Mm. Mm. I think it's it's a very active uh, platform. Uh, Microsoft is investing a lot. Uh, we're part of the Summer of Arcade program. That's a great promotion for us. Uh, so uh, there are some, yeah, there are some room from from for improvement for sure uh, in bringing more people to that platform. But uh, uh, for us, it was really, really a, 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 a great move and a great place to mm -hmm. to be uh, to be distributed. Yes, regarding the creativity, definitely, it's yeah. it's so great to uh, it's so different from uh, let's say. Uh, five or eight years ago, um, with this platform, uh, it's really an opportunity for independent creator to uh, express uh, themselves. Mm. You, you can take more risks, for sure. I mean, big, big uh, major companies like Ubisoft can decide to, to take risks because they're on a smaller scale. And we are typically an example of, of, of this with From Dust. Yeah. Yes, uh, some of them. Uh, so, one great moment w was when the simulation uh, goes to uh, SIMD, so it has been very well optimized, and uh, the first interaction with uh, all the terrain, the, with the water flowing, you know, that was really um, a wonderful uh, moment. And uh, also, uh, one curious moment is, well, um, we talk about volcanoes, and uh, curiously, a real volcanoes has an impact on the game. It was uh, the, re the eruption of the uh, Iceland uh, volcanoes name, difficult to pronounce, Asia for Jokul. It was uh, 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 one year and a half ago. And we had a meeting with uh, the editorial, and this meeting was possible because the plane were, were, were stuck by the volcanoes. So, uh, and during this meeting, uh, it has been decided that uh, we will go to GDC, and then later it has an impact to go to E3, which was the radio starting point to present the game to public, which was really, uh, uh, essential for the life of the game. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also a very, very good moment was, um, um, it was, uh, I don't know, a year ago or a, a bit more, and uh, we received a, a call from, uh, from the, head, the headquarters in, in Paris uh, and saying uh, they had a version and they, they, they were trying the version, an early version of the game. And um, we had a call saying, hey, uh, um, 
uh, I'm playing the game and uh, I, I would like to save uh, my island because I have been playing for a few, a few, I mean, an hour or so, and I, I want to save my island. And uh, the fact that uh, this person at headquarters said my island was a, a great achievement mm. for us because it meant that uh, the, the player was uh, uh, getting uh, in touch, was getting um, um, uh, close to the game, just saying my island. Uh, so it was a very, very good achievement for us and it was a, a pleasure to have this comment. Uh, the funny thing is that at that moment in time we didn't have the saves implemented mm -hmm. in the game so <laughs> the guy lost his island but uh, anyway so it was it was a key moment uh, for us uh, during the production yeah. mm. and uh, another moment was the recording of the music the music in From Dust is very special and unique since it's the tribe that is really playing the music and uh, they play um, a natural instrument And so we go to New York to meet uh, Tom Salta and Bashiri Johnson. Tom Salta is the composer and, and Bashiri Johnson is the percussionist and he, ha he has hundreds of percussion. So it was fabulous to see the whole uh, music being uh, created in front of us just by trying some uh, this percussion, this um, um, Wood, uh, wood sound, etc. Et and, uh, so, and it is something that, well, uh, usually um, pe people don't notice the music in front of us because we present it on, 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 uh, on convention where it's very uh, loody. That's it is one uh, element in the game I really love. Yeah, <laughs> um, Eric snores at night, so uh, in the conventions when we share a room, it's a bit difficult to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Guillaume. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was a. I mean, jo yes. joking aside, yeah. but it was but a, it was a difficult yeah. project to mm. to bring to life because uh, uh, everything that's coming out of this mine is a bit, you know. Uh, uh, crazy and, and, and difficult to sell and to explain uh, what we're doing and um, so yeah it was a uh, we had some tough times when uh, nobody was believing in the project mm. and uh, uh, only the team was actually so it's always a uh, it's always tough but uh, in the end we proved that yeah. this was something worthwhile to to make it has been a, a fight to make this yeah. game alive yeah. mm. DLC is something that is possible. Uh, it will uh, heavily depend on how the game performs uh, uh, when he when he comes out. That's that's for sure. But we have lots of ideas. Yes, that's, uh, we have ideas in stock. Mm. Sure. <laughs>